Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, just gonna take a second here today to show you this guy. Uh, this is the tool I made for removing pre-combustion chambers from Cat D3400 engines like the one on my D2. So the pre-combustion chambers on these old cats, uh, between the heat and the rust, are known to get pretty seized up in the head here. Usually the injectors come right out, but those can get in there. So you need a pretty solid tool to, remo to remove them. Um, and the same tool works for installing them as well. Now I was working on the 3J, pulling the injectors out, and whoever did the pre-combustion chambers put them in pretty loose because I actually had one of the pre-combustion chambers come out with an injector, which is why I took the time to make the tool now. And I was expecting, a, if I remove the other ones, I am ex was expecting a fight, but now not so much, seeing as how easy that one came out. So I whipped this tool up real quick. For what I'm doing, it did not have to be built this tough, but I did make it expecting to find a seized pre-combustion chamber, since more cats keep following me home. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to find one eventually, because they're notorious for being tough to get out. So all it really is, is you have a hex on this end to engage the 12-notch uh, spline in the pre-combustion chamber. I'm pretty sure it's 12. And on the other side is just a hex for a wrench, whatever size wrench you had. Uh, this is an inch and 5 16 because that's the wrench that was nearest at hand when I was cutting this. This one's made out of uh, 4140 steel, which is a good, kind of just a tougher than plain old mild steel type of steel. Uh, you can make it out of P20, just any good, uh, like I said, anything tougher than a mild steel is good because it is going to take a lot of force, but you don't want to get something uh, that you would harden because that would be too brittle and there's a good chance you could crack this with all the force you're going to put on it. Um, when I made this one, I tried to make this as tight to the spline as I could because you're not engaging with a lot of surface in there, so you don't want it to be too loose. And then... I added to the design from Cat this uh, round boss here, and that kind of engages the board that the injector sits in to give it a little bit more stability when you're really wrenching on it. If anybody would like the plans uh, for how to make this, it's real simple. It took me a couple hours in a mill. Just shoot me a message. I'd be more than happy to send the plans your way. I'd have to actually draw some up, but like I said, more than happy to do it. Anyways, guys, I hope that this uh, maybe helped at least one guy out if he got stuck pre-combustion chambers. This is a pretty good tool for doing the job done. Uh, I've seen other guys try to make them out of welding bolts together, and it seems like that works for all but the most stuck pre-combustion chambers, but I'm better at milling steel than I am at welding, so that's why I went this route. Well, guys, I got more tractor content coming, hopefully. We're still in the process of moving. We still don't have an electrical hookup for a stove, so there's a few other priorities in the way right now, but it is getting to be that time of year where I need my tractor, at least one of them up and running to start turning the field over. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you did. 
like I said, I hope uh, I helped at least one person out. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more, guys. Thanks for watching.